Hey everyone, we are back for another online income report. And I don't know about you guys, this year seems like it is just flying by. I can't believe it's already August. So this video, we're gonna cover how much I made in July, 2021 from my various different online income sources. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Ben. I talk about print on demand, e-commerce and making money online. So if you're into that stuff, subscribe to the channel. And I also publish these income reports every single month over on my blog, skipwithben.com. So if you wanna follow along or you prefer reading content, Feel free to check that out as well. I definitely encourage that. So in these reports, if this is your first time watching one of these, I just talk about how much I'm making from each of the different online income streams that I have. I also detail what actions I kind of took each month so you guys can kind of get a window into how I'm building these. And I also go over all the projects that I kind of have in the works right now. So overall in July, my income was down from the previous month. Last month I made about $950 is my best month of 2021. So my income did go back down this month to $761.50 or $762.51 in profit. Now overall, I don't focus too much on how much I make month to month. I try to focus more on what work I'm putting into my different online income sources to kind of play the long game and grow these different businesses. And July was definitely kind of a work, a heads down work grind month. I spent a lot of time actually building uh, and working on different projects that I had going on. So I started publishing more content. I'm gonna get into all of this stuff, but I added more videos to my YouTube channel. I published content on my blog, my medium. Uh, I got some more designs for my print on demand business, all that good stuff. So we're gonna get into all of that in this video. So in total, I had eight different income sources this month that actually generated some sort of income. There's a couple on here that I don't mention because they didn't create any kind of income for the month. So for example, I've expanded now onto Zazzle and TeePublic. I also sell a couple items on Amazon Seller Central. Uh, however, I didn't make any money from those this month. So in total for July, my income came from Merch by Amazon, YouTube, KDP, that's low and no content, notebooks and journals, Spreadshirt, Redbubble, Etsy, affiliate income, and Medium. And pretty much as always, the trend is always that Merch by Amazon and YouTube are kind of the biggest uh, platforms for me. So Merch by Amazon generated 52% of my total income, YouTube 33%, and Etsy was the third largest at 7%. Everything else kind of trickled in under that. Um, I also crossed kind of a big milestone this month. So I actually just crossed 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel at the very end of July. So first of all, if you're watching this, thank you guys, appreciate it. Uh, I didn't know that I'd even be at this point. I honestly didn't even start the channel to grow this big. So that was definitely exciting to see as well. And now I'm wanting to double down on YouTube. So going forward, now we're kind of getting closer to Q4. I think that the next month, so August is probably gonna be around the same amount but I definitely forecast that with the work that I'm putting into my businesses, I do anticipate that hopefully I'll start to see a gradual increase uh, starting in you know maybe the end of August, hopefully by September, uh, and hopefully we have a huge Q4 this year. So let's get right into it. So Merch by Amazon made a total of $400.46, $400 which was down from about $467 last month. Um, I sold in the US, which was my kind of primary market, I also had a few sales in the UK market and I had my uh, two orders in Japan, which I had my first order the previous month. So I think this is like my third sale in Japan this month. Um, the Japanese sales uh, are all from listings that Merch by Amazon actually automatically translated, which they've been starting to do. So that was cool to see as well. But overall I sold 147 units, generated $2,500 in revenue and my royalty was $400. And 46 cents. So um, right now I'm pricing around a 14% margin. This month it was a little bit higher than normal. I sold a bunch of tank tops as well. Uh, so my average royalty was about $2.72 as you can see right here. I also had 10 returns this month, so that definitely hurt, uh, but it's all right. Still had a good month overall. Uh, the big thing I focus on to grow my Merch by Amazon business is I did have my designer uh, create another 100 designs, which I've already uploaded to Merch by Amazon. I'm still at tier 6,000. And so now with the updates to the tier system, I have about 4,500 open design slots. And so I'm trying to max those out or at least try to get closer to maxing them out as quickly as possible. Uh, so I am starting to get back into design and research and spend a lot more time on that. Um, I also show kind of the breakdown of products. Standard t-shirts are still by far the best seller than pop sockets at 12% and tank tops at 7%. And we have I had my first tote bag sale, so that was cool too. Uh, but you guys can check that out over on my blog. Next is YouTube, which is my second largest. 
Uh, the last few months, YouTube's actually been down overall. And I looked and kind of took a look at some of my analytics. And a lot of it is because last year in 2020, I had like a six month period where I didn't publish any content on my YouTube channel. And a lot of my big videos that were doing super well have started to kind of slow down. And so now that I've been publishing content a little bit more consistently, I'm just trying to rebuild that momentum. But overall, uh, it was a solid month. All my metrics were up except revenue. Revenue was still down. So even though I saw you know a five to six percent bump on impressions, view time, or, or sorry, watch time, views, uh, and my subscriber growth was way up, uh, my revenue is down. So I made two hundred and fifty-six dollars and seventy-six cents. Um, I already mentioned it, crossed 10,000 subscribers. So again, thank you guys. Uh, that's definitely exciting. And I published five new videos to my channel this month. Uh, my goal right now is to do at least one video a week. I'm trying to get closer to two videos. It just depends on how much time I'm able to allocate towards this, but at least one video every single week. Uh, what I've found is that even publishing one video a week helps get views across my blog on my other videos. So it really helps with my entire channel and brand growth as well. And those fuel kind of all my different income sources. So um, that's definitely something I'm focusing on right now. Next is KDP, low and no content notebooks. Uh, I had nine books that sold this month. May I have total live right now, 851 books. So I haven't published anything in like a year and a half. In total, I made $16 and 96 cents. Again, this is a super passive platform for me at the moment. Um, although next month I've made a deadline for myself next month. I'm going to start uploading more designs to KDP. I'm almost done with some of my other projects. So, uh, I have started to kind of get back into that and I'm going to focus on really high quality designs. People always ask the, vi the books I have up right now. They're really bad. They're terrible. I just took like my existing designs that I had with uh, merch by Amazon, converted them to covers, did a simple lined interior and threw them up, no optimization or anything on the listings. I just have like one or two books that sell pretty consistently. Spreadshirt was down this month. I had uh, five units that sold. So you guys can see over here my 2021 metrics so far. Normally averaging maybe around five, six sales. Um, some months are higher or lower than others. This month was pretty much average. So five units ordered, $148 in revenue. And my total royalty paid out was $16. Uh, I make about three to four dollars per item that's sold. Just depends what the item is um, over there. Uh, I have about 1,500 listings on Spreadshirt. So curious if you guys have any experience with Spreadshirt. Let me know how many listings you have and how you're, well you're doing. I feel like it's pretty low in terms of income for the number of products I have live, but maybe I'm not optimizing them as best I could or uh, not really sure. So let me know if you guys have any feedback down below in the comments. Uh, I do have maybe like 2,500 or so total designs. So there's still another thousand designs I, I plan on uploading to Spreadshirt in the future. So hopefully that'll help as well. All right, next is Redbubble. I've been spending a ton more time on Redbubble. Um, so I've been uploading a lot more to Redbubble. I now have about 1,400 designs that I've uploaded in the last month and a half. Um, the income has not been really massive on there, uh, but we can see that I'm getting a lot more traffic. So my traffic has pretty much gone up uh, considerably month over month, every single month since I started uploading to Redbubble. Uh, this month I had four sales, but they were all from stickers. And what I found is that uh, right now I've been pricing everything with a 20% margin. Uh, however, with stickers, that doesn't really mean you end up making a lot. So on stickers, I doubled my margins after I got these four sales. Um, so now I'm at 40% margin. So going forward, if I do get more orders for stickers, I will actually start making at least a little bit more money. Uh, but overall, I mean, I'm happy that I got sales, but also I was hoping for more since I have started uploading a lot more on there. My old Redbubble account that I had maybe like two years ago was making like 50 or $60 a month. So I'm hoping to get back to that point and then surpass that. I think I should be able to make, you know, closer to at least $100, $125 or so, given that I have nearly 2,500 designs. So those are uh, kind of the de designs that I'm still trying to get uploaded to the Redbubble platform. So I'll report back to you guys on how well that goes. Next is Etsy, which is kind of always my third largest income source. Um, this month I had 13 units that were ordered. Um, in total, I made $264.63 in revenue, not profit. The profit that I made after everything was said and done was $55.45. Uh, so my average um, royalty per unit sold is $4.27. It's actually lower than normal. I normally make about $5 per shirt order. I price all my shirts around the $19.95 price point and then do free shipping to the US and charge for shipping internationally. But I had a few international orders this month and 
for some reason the shipping was not configured properly so i ended up having to kind of eat the cost on that that's why my royalty per unit is lower uh, and we can see i mean this is you know overall i am still doing better than last year my revenue is up about 50 percent uh over 2020 which is great um but 2020 i also had three months where i turned my shop off completely because of what was going on in the world and uh the production partners weren't fulfilling fast enough so i just turned my store off for like three months so i mean it's all right um but anyway i'm hoping that as we get into q4 i'm going to start to see a good upswing the other thing i tried on etsy this month is i did try running some ads um i spent 19 dollars and 95 cents as you guys can see here uh or sorry i made 19 dollars and 95 cents from my etsy ad campaign so um I ran these ads, I spent $17.25 to generate one order, so $19.95. This is kind of, you know, the, one of the few experiences I've had with Etsy ads. I tried this once or twice before in the past and pretty much the same experience each time. It's kind of just so-so. Um, and I'm sure there's more that I could do to kind of optimize these. However, I don't really wanna put a lot of time into it right now. Um, so I turned these off, but I just wanted to experiment with it a little bit. What I noticed is that the click-through rate's super low. So I had 7,100 views on my ads, only 57 clicks, which is a 0.8% click-through rate, uh, which to me means that it, the ads are probably not being shown to super relevant uh, categories of people, uh, or maybe they're just being displayed to people who aren't really interested or are just kind of window shopping. But anyway, so that was kind of my experience with Etsy ads, but I did want to test that this month. So next is affiliate income. Affiliate income, again, not something I push really hard, but these are from the links that I have on my blog, my YouTube channel. Um, I do have people that click through these and I'm involved with a handful of different programs. Um, but this month I had payouts from two, which were Printify, which is kind of normally the one that I get the most from, and then PixelPod. Uh, studio. So Printify, you guys have heard me talk about before production partner, kind of similar to Printful. I use them for some of my Etsy fulfillment and also with my Amazon Seller Central account. Uh, this month I made $11.40 from their affiliate program. And then PixelPod Studio, I haven't talked about before on my YouTube channel or on my blog, uh, but they do monthly interiors uh, for KDP low and no content notebooks. So every month they actually will send out uh, research on opportunity niches. Uh, they'll give you the keyword research, uh, and then they'll actually create interiors for it. So maybe a um, you know workout logbook or something like that. Um, so they'll give you maybe five to 10 interiors a month with the keywords and everything like that. So this is something I use uh, when I am working on my uh, KDP low and no content notebook business. So um, I did have one person that converted this month and made $2.99 in affiliate income uh, from PixelPod. And finally, Medium. So Medium is kind of like a, another blogging platform. Um, they have some cool people on there, cool pe articles to read, and you can go sign up and start writing on Medium uh, and literally join their partner program immediately and start making money. Uh, so you make money based on the number of people that are viewing your art or reading your articles and how long they actually read for, um, because you have to pay if you wanna read more than a certain number of articles on Medium. So you pay for like a premium account. I think it's like $5 a month. Um, so I started publishing a couple articles here and there uh, at the end of 2020. I published one in December and in total I have four articles up. Um, and this month I did publish one new article to Medium uh, about how I paid off $10,000 of debt with a few different side hustles. If you guys are curious, I'll leave a link to that uh, down below. But when I published that, that kind of picked up some traffic. So I ended up making a dollar and 35 cents, which I, again is fairly low, but uh, this is my highest month actually on Medium. I'm not really using this to build another income stream, although that would be nice. Right now, I'm just trying to gain awareness and kind of uh, direct people from Medium to my blog or my YouTube channel. Um, so that's kind of how I'm going about this. So that's it for kind of my different online income stream breakdowns. Uh, now, finally, as promised, at the end of this report, I always talk about the different projects that I'm kind of working on or just kind of wrapped up. Uh, so again, in total for July, I made $762.51. Rather than looking at the money though, I also was very focused on, again, trying to put work into building these for the long-term growth. I really wanna to get to the point where I'm making closer to $2,000 or more a month from my various side hustles. And I think that's very achievable uh, as long as I continue kind of doubling down on what's working. So this month, my main projects were, right now I'm kind of in the midst of expanding my print-on-demand business to other platforms. So kind of already touched on this, but uh, my main platform is obviously Merch by Amazon, but now I've started to add most of my designs to Redbubble, TeePublic, Zazzle, 
and Amazon Seller Central. Um, and so I'm probably about 40-ish percent of the way through this process. Um, I am using POD Connects to help automate some of the aspects of this. Uh, but my goal is to get all 2,500 of my designs over onto each of these platforms uh, to essentially get more eyeballs on my different listings. And I think that once this is done, that'll help really bump my revenue or my income up. Um, so hopefully within the next couple months, that'll be done. The second one is rebranding my blog, which uh, was a way bigger project than I expected it to be. But uh, if you guys have not seen my blog, I just finished pushing a lot of updates to it. So it's pretty much done. There's still some kinks to work out. Um, but this was pretty much designed to just kind of give a better uh, experience to people that are reading my blog and just rebrand it to kind of facilitate longer term growth. So I created a new homepage. I added kind of a tools and resources page that just talks about all the different tools that I actually use, which I talk about here quite a bit on my YouTube channel. And I added an about page and I'm also gonna start sending more email updates. So again, if you guys want to kind of get, stay up to date with what I'm doing, with my online income streams, um, feel free to go over there and also sign up for that. And finally, just getting more print on demand designs. Merch by Amazon's been my biggest income stream consistently for you know a couple of years now. And so I'm trying to still stay focused on Merch by Amazon and double down on that. So uh, I'm trying to get about 100 to 300 new designs per month. In July, I got 100 new designs. This month, I have another 100 in progress and then I'm gonna actually do my own design work to hopefully get another 100 to 200 and upload these to Merch by Amazon and then publish them to all my other platforms. So anyway, those are kind of the big projects I have open right now. So guys, that's it for the July 2021 income report. I hope you guys got some value out of that. Let me know how your side hustles are doing down below in the comments. Feel free to go over, check this blog out. And if you guys wanna continue learning more about online income streams, making money online, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you got some value out of this, I'd love if you could give this a thumbs up. That definitely helps me grow uh, this channel as well. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for being part of this journey. And until next time, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Cheers.